Why you have done such a thing? Are you or someone in your household 60 years of age or older? Press 1 for yes if you or someone in your household is 60. Thank you for calling the Medical Alert Center. This is Jessica on a recorded line. Qualify for our offer today. Um, just please hang on for one second while I connect us with the Medical Alert Specialist. Thank you for holding. My name is Cheryl. Will I detect 24-7? How are you today? Oh, I'm doing great, Cheryl. How are you? That's awesome. I'm doing just fine. Thanks for asking. With our promotion, you have been selected to receive a free medical alert system. Oh, so great. we congratulate you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I never win at anything. I'm so glad I won. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Well, sir, I'm not sure if you're familiar with our medical alert system. It's a little button you will wear around your neck and press for help in case of any type of emergency, like a bad fall. You've uh, seen similar products on TV, haven't you? Uh. I mean, I remember back in the, like, 80s, 90s, uh, seeing uh, those um, I've fallen and I can't get up um, videos right, and stuff like exactly. that. But, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I was, yeah. I was like, 45, 50. I never thought it would apply to me. Um, so, now you're, <laughs> so you're, saying, uh, you're saying I get to wear a button around my neck? Or either around your neck or you can, it comes with the belt clip if you don't want to wear it around your neck. The choice is yours. But okay. keep in mind, this is not like, this is uh, an upgrade from oh. what you saw back then. Okay. Because the ones back then, they were big and bulky and they were connected to a landline phone. Yeah. You you would have to have a landline phone in order to use it. And it, they may or may not have, um, require installation. Okay. So what we have is a mobile monitoring unit. So you don't, you don't have to worry about that now. Doctors, they refer to the first hour after an accident or heart attack as the golden hour. Now, if emergency services can get to you within the first hour, your odds of survival are as high as 80%. The great thing about our alert system is that it's not just for medical emergencies. You can use it anytime you feel nervous or threatened, like in case of a fire, a break-in, a car accident, if you thought someone was following you. Or if you were under attack, you would simply press the button and no emergency services are on the way. That'll give you a lot of peace of mind. Now, my name is Cheryl. What's your name? Uh, my name is Gary. G-A-R-Y? Uh, that's right, yeah. And your last name? It's Willikers. Do you want me to spell that for you? Yes. <laughs> uh, it's uh, W-I-L-L-I-K-E-R-S. Thank you. So, w -I -L -L -I -K -E -R -S. Sorry, sorry, I, I K E R S. Yeah, I don't mean to cut you off here. Um, you're saying it's a mobile? Is that what you said? Yes, it's a mobile unit. So, in okay. other words, it charges just like a cell phone. Oh, okay. And it's a mobile. Just, oh, it's a mobile unit like that. I, when you said it's a mobile, mobile, I thought it was one of those kid things you put in the kid's crib, and it spins around. <laughs> you know, like a mobile. You said it's a mobile, so I no. thought, what kind of thing would I need? Well, I'm sleeping. I need like to have that. Like your cell phone is, is mobile. No, no, no. Like your cell phone is mobile. This is mobile. So in other words, you can take it around. You don't. It's not. You're not confined to to your home. It has an unlimited monitoring range, so you can take it in, anywhere in the United States. Okay. Now, does this work in conjunction? Yeah, like, like I have a I have a smart home. Uh, do you know what a smart home is? Yes, I'm familiar with those. Okay. But you don't. It. You can use it there too. It doesn't connect to any type of Wi-Fi. Or, or any type of phone. It's just, okay. it comes with a charger and it runs off the cell phone tower, so you're fine. Okay. What year were you born, Gary? I was born in 49. Perfect. And do you have any um, high blood pressure or diabetes? Uh, I don't have the diabetes, no. Um, I do have high blood pressure, though. Are you, are you on medicine for it? Um, no, uh, they told me I could just uh, control it through my, uh, my diet. But, diet? Okay. Yeah, it's a diet. It's a diet controlled. Um, uh, what do you call it? But most of the time, I mean, uh, most of the time when my my blood pressure gets really high is when I when I go out uh, salsa dancing and merengue dancing on uh, Saturday nights. That's uh, usually <laughs> where my my. Uh, there's just something about that music, you know, like the whole like 
There's something about that. It just gets my heart racing real quick and it increases my blood pressure and just drives it through the roof. Well, any type of fast movement or consistent movement will run anybody's pressure up for the moment. Mm -hmm. But um, one way you can control, uh, one, one thing I use is cinnamon water because I don't take medication either for blood pressure. Cinnamon water? If you water. take some cinnamon water. What cinnamon yeah, water? And if you just get some cinnamon out of the cabinet and you shake it inside the water and mix it up and drink it. And it helps bring your pressure down naturally. Really? That, that, yeah. Why, why is that not more public knowledge? I mean, that's if that works, I mean, I'm, I'm because, obviously I'm going to try it. I'm going <laughs> to Because gonna people it. get, you can't make money off of that. You make money off of giving people pills. And then when, and guess what else? And then not only do the doctors make the money, then the pharmacy makes the money. And then when you turn around and stop taking it and you end up having a stroke, the hospitals make the money. More doctors make money. And then if you die, you see how it works? Yeah, that's that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you know do what? Do you think they're gonna tell people that? No. No, I don't think. Yeah, I think you're right. And you know, going forward, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take cinnamon water with me. Those Latina women, I tell you, there's something fiery about those women. They just get my blood racing. I don't know what it is. That Jennifer oh Lopez lady and and that uh, Selena, man, that Selena, like. I'm trying to learn Spanish right now at the moment, actually. To, to, really? Yeah, I'm trying to learn Spanish so like when I'm talking with them, I can, I can uh, maybe, I don't know. Understand. Uh, will them, if you will, uh, you know, court them. Oh, get their phone numbers? No, no, Take you know, home. no, no, I'm not going for the phone numbers. I want to get to know them first and, and, and build some, uh, some knowledge, like, relationship with them. And if they want to give me the That's phone nice. number, I never ask for the phone number. I usually just say, hey, here's my phone number. Give me a call. Send me a message. Uh, my, 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 my vision is quite bad right now, so I've got my cell phone uh, at the, the highest level of, of, uh, of screen, like, you know, the text. Oh. So, so I say, <laughs> hey, here's my phone number, and uh, give me a shout sometimes, and let me know what song we dance to, you know. So um, I had uh, a lady the other day send me a message, tell me we danced to a song called um, Dos Locos. I don't know if you've heard that song before. It's called Dos Locos. No. It's uh, it's quite a good mm -hmm. song. It's 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 uh, it goes kind of like, uh, dos locos, dos locos, some 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 some. It's a bachata song. It's like, do 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 do. Yeah, it's kind of like got that twangy kind of like sound to it. It's fantastic. But I'm gonna be taking that cinnamon water with me now going forward, so that I so that I'm I'm able to. Just, just drink it with me. Just keep some bottled water. Just keep some bottled water. Like, take a bottle of water, shake it in there, and then put the top on real tight, shake it up, and then just have it in case you need it. How, how quickly does the cinnamon water work? I mean, is it like an instantaneous? It doesn't take a long. It doesn't take long. It well, doesn't, not okay. for me, anyhow. Okay. Well, are you much younger yeah. than I am? I'm 38. Oh, wow, okay. I was going to say, if you had a twin sister, how old would she be? But you went right ahead and told me <laughs> the age. Okay. No worries. Well, Gary, um, you say you have some vision issues, so that's going to make it even better having this button because you don't have to worry about dialing any numbers or misdialing any numbers. You can simply press the button and get the help that you need. Yeah. Now, do you have any other... Um, medical issues besides the high blood pressure uh to be brutally honest i mean what i'm really looking forward to is next year because uh you know they they say that next year is 2020 and i'm hoping my vision mm -hmm. gets back to that you know because it's <laughs> right now it's now i'm feeling i'm really i'm really feeling like i'm my age right now so um i've got high cholesterol um you know it's, oh. yeah it's uh it's from all the foods that i've been eating and you know what it is, is i go out dancing every saturday night like i said but then afterwards, we go out and we eat some pupusas. Have you ever had uh, heard of that before? Mm -mm. It's a Salvadorian dish. Yep. Um, it's crazy. It's, pupusas are amazing. It's like a tortilla with uh, with cheese inside of it. Sometimes it's got uh, yeah. it's got uh, what do you call those things? Um, it's like um, so it's got cheese. It's got like not bacon, but it's kind of like pork kind of inside. Um, there's really? lots of it's yeah. It's it's delicious. I, I'm telling you, but kind of expensive but it's very greasy very 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 greasy 
And so um, I, I, you know, it has chorizo. Um, I mean, it's just, it's amazing. And, and it's, yeah, pupusas are delicious. Let me just tell you, if you get a chance, I don't, do you have any Latino friends? Mm, maybe some of my coworkers. All right. You, you need some Latino friends in your life. Let me tell you, right? Like those people, <laughs> they know how to party. They know how to have a good time. They know how to dance it up. They do these, uh, these like shoulder shake things, almost like, uh, but, uh, I mean, at the end of the mm -hmm. day, they're, they're, they're doing their thing and, and, and then they say, hey, let's go out to eat. This mobile monitoring unit is what we could do. Okay. 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 So we definitely take your health and safety seriously. Okay. Now also, if you do ever need us, you would simply press your button and immediately you will be in contact with one of our certified emergency specialists. Whether it's, it's a life-threatening emergency situation that requires emergency service, mm -hmm. or if you just needed help from a neighbor or family member, our highly trained professionals will get you the assistance you need anytime, day or night, including holidays. And they receive all types of thank you letters on how professional and caring they are, so you're definitely going to be in good hands. Now, Gary, what address can I send your life-saving device to? Starting um, with the zip code. What's your zip code? Uh, well, right now I um I currently uh, reside in Chicago. Um, now okay. I just um I just moved here. Um, give me okay. a, give me a second here. I have to look up the um sure. the it's yeah, it's not it's not the greatest. Go ahead. Take your time. Uh, it's okay. Here. Um, okay, it's uh sixty thousand six hundred and thirty nine. Chicago, Illinois, and what's your street address? It's uh, Leclerc Avenue, North Leclerc. Nuclear? Leclerc. It's a French word. Um, do you want me to spell that for you? Uh, yes. Um, L like. Mm, I can't think of anything. Larry. With an yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, man! I don't know what just happened You're to fine. me. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. That's okay. I feel I feel You're like um short timers. Yeah. yeah, it's called short timers. <laughs> I, I call it old timers. Um, okay. Um, okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, L. Uh, then there's E like uh, Echo. Uh, C like Charlie. L like uh, Lima. A like Alpha. I like Italy. R like Romeo. E like Echo. Uh, back to, took me back to my military days, so that's great. <laughs> that's okay. LeClaire Avenue in Chicago, Illinois, 60639. Yeah. And do you have an emergency contact, sir? Uh, I do not, no. Uh, pretty much um, Pretty much everyone I know has, has actually passed on. I'm sorry to hear that. I rarely ever give anyone my number, right? Because uh, I'm a very private. Right. I'm a very <laughs> like I'm a very private guy. I go dancing every Saturday night, but I'm very private. Like I'm like I said, I give out my phone numbers to the ladies. Um, you know, I don't ask for the phone number. Um, but sometimes mm -hmm. I, I I forget. You know, um, and 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 they kind of have to take they take my phone and they send themselves a text message. You know what I mean? Okay. And uh, they say I yeah, got my number sense. here, That's so smart. so sometimes I'm like I'm not I'm not really sure sometimes about what I do there with with regards to myself. I'm so sorry. Like I'm I'm having a very uh, old timers kind of moment right now. Yeah, I had I had an email I had an email once uh, a while back. I had it on uh, was it the Hotmail, and um, mm -hmm. I don't know what happened. I started getting all these emails. Asking me if I okay. was a hot male. And I did not understand what? at all. Yeah. I did not understand at all That's what was weird. going on. So 
I no longer have an email. I don't I don't use the the computers for that kind of stuff. I just I just go on the Google okay. and uh, I I you know. Yeah, because Google just, usually asks you for an email. No, I just I don't sign up on Google. I just Google things if you know what I mean. So uh, gotcha. if I need to know well, something. Well, Gary, else, um, mm -hmm. so you're going to receive your equipment within the next few days. We highly suggest that the first thing you do is take it out of the box, press the button, and tell the specialist you are making a test call. That's when you're going to be really impressed with the level of protection you are making, with the level of protection you're receiving today. The test calls are important so you know exactly what to expect should you ever have an emergency, okay? Okay. Now, so is there, our, sorry, I, our, I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. What? What exactly does uh, does the button qualify as a an emergency? Because you know, I know some people. Like I said, I know some people. They fall. Um, like my uh, my ex wife. She, at one point, she had broken her hip, and uh, she uh, yeah she 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 didn't actually call anybody. She broke her hip, and kind of like pulled herself up to the couch. And then uh, she said, when I got home, she said, hey, by the way, I broke my hip. And mm. she didn't have anything to uh, to, to really uh, send anything to or anything about, along those natures. But uh, I'm just wondering, like, if I have an emergency, uh, for example, let's say uh, I go out here with my, my friends here on Saturday. Tomorrow night I'm going to head out. If I'm drinking, you know, if I'm having a bit of wine and I drink a little too much, uh, can I push the button and have someone drive me somewhere? No, I wish it was that easy. Um, That's not no, an emergency? But they got, but, well, well, I'm not, okay, so it doesn't offer that type of service. This is more so like for, let's say you fall and you needed someone to help you get up. Or let's say there was a fire or a car accident. Let's say you were driving and you hit a light pole. You would press the button. Or if you were having a heart attack or stroke. Wow. Or if somebody cut themselves and needed some help. Oh, geez. But if okay. you just decide to go out and get drunk and you just want somebody to take you home, well, then you, you got to get Uber or Lyft or <laughs> someone you trust. To do that, that's that's a little different. What if what um, if what if I now, have a now if you injured your now if you were drinking and you injured yourself and fell down, well then, you know you might can get a ride to the hospital, but the, you know, but not just because you don't feel like driving home. <laughs> well, it's not that I, you know, it's not that I don't feel like driving home. I just, you know, if, if I go out to drink, I, I mean, I don't go out with the purpose of getting drunk. You know, I go out to, uh, I'm a casual drinker, if you will. Like, I drink the wine with friends. And uh, I'm telling you right now. I'm but then most, you would ask one of your friends to take you home. Yeah, but, but my friends are also drinking, right? So, well, I mean. Then you can get an Uber. Or okay. List. Okay. So basically, what you're saying is it's not an emergency if it's if I if I have a, a what do you call it? Um, That's just a lifestyle choice. Okay. okay. Now an I had to see would be. Okay. I had this situation happen. I just I'm sorry. I don't mean to ask these uh, kind of questions. I just want to make sure that this if if I get this system that it's going to work for me the way that it needs to work for me. If that makes sense. Um, well, so, it's an emergency button, so oh, it's okay. the only way it works. It's the same for everybody. Okay, Press so... It for a light, for an emergency. Yeah, so, you know, uh, I don't know if you know much. Like I said to you before, I, I do the salsa dancing, the merengue. Uh, there's a, a there's a type of dance called uh, the bachata. I'm not sure if you've heard of that one before. No. No, okay. The, the man and the woman get a little bit closer together. And so... Okay, but what does that have to do with this button? Okay, well, I'm about to ask you. I'm just trying to make sure that you understand where I'm coming from because this is going to be a little bit of an awkward question. What if... Well, uh, let's, let's just, just keep it about the button. Right, so what if, if, if I have, for example, it's, this is a medical condition. Um, if I am close to the lady and I have a continuous erection, do I push the button? Well, then you need to be a light. No, you need to be a light and stop being a sicko. That's what you need to do. Ex 
Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> she hung up, guys. That was the killer, man. The erection was the killer. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Freak, man. Those erections will get you every time, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> Don't try to make me fool, okay? Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks again for watching. Again, if you like what I'm doing on the channel, please consider subscribing. If you like the video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up. But more importantly, like I always say, please make sure you share this video so we can prevent more people from being scammed. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.